So this video is in response to a, uh, a follow-up for my not a number video. Um, I was asked if we could make it work for, m for more than one digit. That makes it a little bit more complicated because it means you've got to check each digit in turn to see if it's a number and then stop if you've got any uh, characters in there. So you can see here is where I've got my standard ASCII check for whether it's a number. So is it um, between 0 which is 48 and um, <coughs> the 9 here, 57. That's the ASCII value. So it's the same sort of thing, but this time I use a while loop to check each character in turn. Now I've used a while loop so I can make a condition that says as it checks through the through the characters, if any of the characters it happens to be a letter, a non-numerical value, for example, it will hit the it will hit the true flag, and then it will break and it will stop uh, the minute it finds a character, for it finds a, a non-numerical character. Better than a for loop because a for loop would have to keep going till the end. So we'd be checking whether we found if we found a, a character in the first uh, value or not. With this one it will stop the minute it finds a uh, a letter or a non-numerical digit. So let's um, let's just step through it. So if I just pop it on here, input in the value. So let's say I do twelve and then F. Let's check the one. The two, it'll find the F, stop, and come out. So we've got steps through. There we go. Let's move this into the corner over here out of the way. It's the one, it's checking that's a number, so it'll just flip round. That's a number, so it'll flip round. But the F, it's a letter. Up to there, stops, not a number. If we do that with, um, run through it again, and just do it with, let's say, uh, the value 10, it will do the first one. So the one, that's a number. The two, that's a number. And at the end, I've not found any numbers. Sorry, not found any letters. There's a number. It's a number. If we do it with the letter at the start, so if I do F123, it will stop immediately because the first character is the, is the non-numerical character. So let's enter that. Gets the first character. Okay, that character is not a number, so it flags it. The AND statement here now goes, well, okay, the flag's now set. There's a, there's a non-numerical character in there, so I might as well stop. Stops, output's not a number. So there you go. That is the, the flowchart. I'll show you the entire flowchart. So this is the flowchart for finding out if a multiple digit value is all numbers or not. Hope that helps. If it does, like and subscribe or buy me a coffee.